I took the top off. I'm dripping like hot sauce. I got blood in this clean wall. Let me give me that mean mouth. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee Hustle. We're gonna be back at it again with another video. But before I even get into it, y'all know what I need y'all to do. Do they? I think they know. I mean, I've been gone for a week, but y'all know. Anyways, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for all you already know. But yeah, though, I know y'all been gone for a week. You see me trying to chase a little way, I cut my hair or whatever, but I've been gone for a week, had some personal stuff going on, you know, just trying to get my mind back in the game, trying to just be 1% better every single day. But I can't leave y'all hanging, so I got some content for y'all. Today, five keys. Five keys, five keys on what you can do to dead your distractions. I know all of us got them. All of us got something that's like, we doing something, we grinding, we, we, we pushing towards something. And the moment this happens, it's like, it's just, it's, we just throwing off all gears, throwing off all gears. It happens to the best of, best of us. It happens to me often. And that's really why I've been gone for the time that I've been gone because I was distracted by the things that was going on in my head and just, Fell off for a little minute, but I'm back now, and I'm better. But yeah, though, number one, number one, number one key to deading your distractions is figuring out what you're striving towards. First of all, the biggest thing is to figure out what you're going towards anyway. Because if you don't really know what you're chasing, hell, anything is a distraction when you don't know what you're chasing. But when you know what you're actually going for, it's, it's easier. I want to say it's easier, but... It's, it's easier, but it's not easier. I don't know. I don't really know how I want to put it. It's, you can see better. And I ain't talking about your eye. I'm talking about your spirit, with the spirit of discernment. You can actually visualize, okay, I can and I can't do this. The cans and cannots, you know, because you know what you're chasing after. So you know what you can dibble and dabble in and what you got to take a step back from. You feel me? But yeah, that's key number one. Key number two knowing your personnel this kind of ties in with number one but this is very specific in the um, simplest way I could put that is knowing your personnel is like okay for instance I'm pretty sure a lot of us have friends from all walks of life I got friends that should be like Nigga, that's your friend like totally different we're totally different but loving to death to my peoples and one thing I'm realizing with my growth is Sometimes my friends, my people, the ones I love dearly are my distractions. And I'm not saying that they're harming me and they're not good for me. But what I'm on in my route, in my route that I'm going, my destination, not saying they're going down, but they're just not going the way I'm going at that moment. And that's, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. You pray for them, you love on them, but at the same time, sometimes you got to love them from a distance. So know your personnel, know which friends like you can and cannot hang out with that'll pull you away from what you focused on. And it's unintentionally. I got a lot of friends that I kick it with and they'll unintentionally distract me and they'll pull me from my goals. It's like, nah, 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 nah. I gotta go back to the crib. I, I gotta go back in the gym. I gotta, I gotta go figure something out. I gotta, I gotta go grind. I gotta go do something productive for myself. None towards them, but that's just me. So yeah, knowing your personnel. Um, number three, turning negatives into positives. So with that, with distractions, that's one of the biggest keys, one of the biggest keys, because you're going to have situations where you can see a lot of things as negative. And I feel like negatives are more of, not necessarily a negative, it's more so of a mindset. Because a lot of times negativity is really just a mind. You're thinking that it's bad, or thinking that it goes the wrong way. You feel me? So, um, with turning negatives to positive, for example, you could have uh, you could have a kid that's just always on TikTok, always on TikTok, like all day, every day on TikTok. But you got a clothing brand, so you tell them instead of like making it a negative and saying, "Man, they always on TikTok. I can never get them off of the phone. Go do something productive." You can say, "Okay." find the best memes that we could put on our commercials. So it's like, I mean, and that's, and that's a small example. That's not really pinpointing, but that's just like to 
get you into the mind frame of okay it only it's only negative if you allow it to be remain optimistic put yourself in a situation to where if, even if something doesn't look like it's going to go right put in a situation to where it can thrive but um yeah step three step four removing shortcuts removing shortcuts i got a big problem with that a lot of times i just want to get shit done like i just want to get it done just want to get it done like sometimes I go to my workouts and I'll be like, I'm not feeling it today. You and that's another thing I'm learning. This is a little bit off topic, but another thing I'm learning in life is the greatest people, and this kind of ties in with this conversation as well. The greatest people on earth, they're not always motivated. And I always felt like if you're not motivated at something, you shouldn't do it. It's like no, because you got a lot of athletes and you got a lot of um, musicians, artists that do things. And they say, well, sometimes I don't want to go to the gym. Or sometimes I don't want to paint. Sometimes I don't want to go to the studio. I was just tired. I'm human. I was tired. But it wasn't more so of motivation. It was more the capability of having discipline. So remove those shortcuts. Remove the shortcuts to where it's like, okay, I just want to hurry me get it done. Mm -mm. Fight through it the entire time. No shortcuts. Taking shortcuts in life can only get you so far. Literally, it can only get you so far. There's going to be a time where you're going to have to strap your nuts on, quote unquote, and dig it out, fight it out in the trenches, in the trenches. But yeah, though, I step four. And step five, last one, step five, repetition, repetition. No matter what I tell you, I can sit up and talk to my face is blue. If you don't be repetitive in your actions, you're not gonna get nothing out of it. So if you trying to get your, your your grades up and you study two days out the week, and on the third day you don't study, but the test on Thursday, how you going how you going you feel me? How you gonna do something? Cause at the end of the day, you gotta be repetitive in what you're doing if you're gonna actually see a difference. It's just like working out, if you going to the gym, hitting the ways. Huh, huh, huh. Hitting the ways. You go for like two weeks strong. Like, okay, okay. Third week, you don't go the whole week. It's like, dang, like, you done lost so much of progress due to the fact that you didn't continue to repeat what you're doing. People wake up and like, dang, Steph Curry, the best shooter ever. Repetition. No one wakes up and becomes the greatest at anything. Maya Angelou isn't Maya Angelou. Denzel Washington isn't Denzel Washington. No one is any. Barack Obama isn't Barack Obama. If he doesn't practice those speeches over, if he doesn't become more eloquent and he doesn't perfect his craft, he doesn't get to where he is now. So, yeah, repetition. So, once again, figuring out what you're striving towards, knowing your personnel, turning negatives into positives. Removing shortcuts. Get them out of there. <laughs> Get them out of there, man. Get them out of there. I felt like JT for a second. But yeah, and repetition. Repetition. Gots to. Gots to. And don't forget, y'all see the shirts. Yesterday's connection. Give my boy Trey Deuce. I had to put that in there. You already know I did. But yeah, though. That's it for tonight, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't worry. Stay tuned. But y'all already know to do before I leave. Like, comment, and subscribe, folks. You already know. Peace.